Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Show Me the Truth. Listen, we have a clip that I wanted to get your opinion on. I'm going to go ahead and share my opinions on it as well, but it's a clip of Kirk Franklin. Now, keep in mind, he's 53 years old, y'all, and uh, the Joker is moving, so let's go ahead and get into it right now. All right, here we go. Now, keep in mind, keep in mind, he's 53 years old and he's moving like that, right? And I know what's on your mind. Sell out. I know what's on some people's minds. What is that brother doing? But may I remind you that Paul the Apostle, oh yes, he did. He still addressed the brothers and sisters in Christ in Corinth as saints. He still addressed them as the family of God. And we know how many challenges the Corinthians had, right? He talked about carnality. He talked about the carnal mind there and the difference between the carnal mind and the spiritual mind. And he I mean, he had some, some things to say, didn't he, on the carnal minded. However, he still addressed them as brothers and sisters. They are still a part of the family of God. And what we as Christians need to remember, especially in this year and beyond, is that our behavior does not determine whether we are a child of God or not. Mm -mm -mm. I know. I'm. Uh, listen, the behavior does not determine whether or not you're a child of God does. You know who does? The same one who brought the difference between the light and the darkness. It is the Lord that determines whether you are a child of God or not. Now, if he says that all those that are in Christ are new creatures, then guess what you are? You're not just someone who uh, swore an oath, right, to an allegiance to, to be faithful to the Lord. That's not what you did. Remember, you're in Christ and that is what makes you holy. You're in Christ and that is what makes you a saint. You're in Christ and that is what makes you on your way to heaven apart from your behavior. Because if you get into heaven with your behavior, you would have means to boast, but you don't. Listen, Paul was, man, he was a laborer, wasn't he? But he said, it wasn't me that labored. Oh, I wish someone would get this. It was the grace of God that labored in me. And so perhaps the reason why you think you're still falling short, the, perhaps the reason why you still think you're this, you're that, you will never be this, you will never be that, is because you're still on that law-based mindset of your works. Listen, it's not about you. It's all about who chose you. It's not about you. It's all about Jesus Christ and being in Christ because that is what makes you a saint, not your behavior. Now, listen. The dude could move, right? B but I know a lot of you probably were offended at his movements. You, maybe you even said things like, man, you know, I thought he was a Christian or this, that, and the other. Listen, 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 please listen. Did you know that according to John, Christians don't sin? They can't. You know why? Because of the new nature say, CJ, you, you lost me there. How did I lose you? If you're not under law, that means you can't break the law. Is that, is that true or not? If you're not under law, are you under the law? Okay. So if you're not under the law, that means you cannot break the law. You're a totally different class of being. What do you think being a new creature means? Ooh, I know I got a whole lot more to say on that, but just to let you know, Brother Franklin, right? And listen, I, I give the brother the benefit of the doubt. Brother Franklin, right? Please pray for this brother, all right? And while you're at it, please pray for yourself and pray for the church of God, because one thing that we need to get right, and that is grace. We need to get grace right. A lot of people preaching in a way where uh, you... They think that you can actually do whatever you want 
And that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about the grace of God and how big it actually is. We're talking about what John said, how that the wicked one touches us not. We're talking about what these apostles knew and was revealed to them when John said, he that is in Christ cannot sin for his seed remains in him. His nature remains in him. And we're in a totally different class than everyone else. You have to remember that. Being a Christian is so much different than a belief system. 